Hi, today I thought to myself, it might be time to release a new video, so why not continue where we left off? Today we are going to rig the bow. You can begin by adding a armature to your scene. Rotate the bone by 90 degrees by pressing R and 90. Then just extrude by pressing E and try to keep the bone in the middle of the mesh as much as possible. Make sure that your 3D cursor is in the center of the scene by pressing Shift C. Then you can go ahead and select all the bones and press Shift D to duplicate. Then you want to scale on the X axis, so S, X and minus 1. Add in a new bone and this is gonna be the string. We can name this bone string. And now select the mesh and then the armature. Press Ctrl P and select with automatic weights. Now you can go ahead and go to post mode and check out your rig. The rig should look fine with the automatic weights. Go ahead and create a new bone. And this bone is gonna be the main bone, so other bones will be parented to this one. So we want to select these two bones and at last select the larger main bone. To make it easier for us, we're gonna name this bone main, just to keep track of it. We can also select the string and then the main bone, Control P and keep offset. And if you did it correctly, it should look like this. And now we want to add a bone constraint. And do this while you are in post mode. And select inverse kinematic. The chain length parameter uh, changes the amount of bones affected by the inverse kinematic. Select these bones and press E to extrude. Press Alt P and clear parent. So to make it easy for us, we're gonna name these bones the same name, but with a dot right and dot left. So we're gonna name them ik dot right and ik dot left. In edit mode, we can parent the ik bones to the main bone. And here we want to add a bone constraint again. And this time it's gonna be a limit distance. Select the target to be the armature and the bone to be string. Select the bone with inverse kinematics and pick target to be armature and bone to be IK left. And here we can also see that the weight paint didn't go quite as planned. And to find the problem, you want to select the armature and then select the mesh and then press weight paint mode. And here we can see that mesh is affected by the IK bone that is far away. So we want to select subtract and remove it so it's completely blue. And nice, it's fixed. And that's it, we're done. This was my basic bow rig and if you enjoyed consider subscribing and hitting the like button. And I'll see you in the next one.